All right, David Harry here. <laughs> Are you a big mad mental basket case just like I am? And you're wondering to yourself, what's it going to be like to go outdoors with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and do some vlogging? Well, hopefully in this video, I'll give you an idea of what that's like. So what I'm going to do is go outdoors and I'll use this rig and sit down and do some vloggy stuff with the front and back cameras. Then I'll do some kind of walky stuff and then I'll stick it on this tripod here and try that and see what that's all about. And then I'll come back and do a bit of a summary at the end of the video. Now, at any point during this video, if you like the video or if you find it entertaining, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification icon because I'll be doing a whole bunch more videos to do with the S7. Also as well on top of that, anything that I use, like all these added on bits and things that I'll do in other videos, I will start building up a list of that stuff along with a playlist in the descriptions to all these videos. Anyways, on with the video. Okay, so for the first example outdoors then, I am on the front camera of the Galaxy Tab S7. Also as well, hopefully me GoPro over there is recording okay. And if so, it'll just give us an idea of perspective and what's going on. So GoPro is kind of like the establishing shot here. Now what it is, the front camera is unfortunately only in HD. So that means that I'm gonna have to upscale this to 4K in the edit because the rear camera is in 4K, so the edit will be in 4K. Also, this is all 30p as well, and that's because you don't do 60 on the rear or the front with this particular tablet. Anyways, I'm also using my trusty Rode Wireless Go, which is here. And it's a good job I'm using this because we are about to hit some storms apparently in the UK and it is very windy and I'm having to do this stuff dipping in and out of some rain and what have you. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is flip over to the rear camera as I'm sitting down. Let's see what that's like. Okay, so over onto the rear camera now. Now, unlike the front camera, apparently there is some form of stabilization on the rear camera. So maybe this might look a little bit more kind of steady. We'll also check this in a sec because I'll do a little bit of a walk test with it and see what that's like. But once again, these are just going to be examples to give ourselves a bit of a rough initial idea of how it all looks. And of course, like I just said before, I will be doing a whole bunch of things to do with quality testing with the cameras and all kinds of stuff to do with microphones and all the rest of it as well. Anyway, so this is the rear camera now and this is in full 4K and what have you, or UHD 4K at 30 frames per second and once again hopefully the GoPro has been doing its job properly so we can get an idea of what's going on here. Now what I'm going to do is a bit of a walk test with both of the cameras. Okay so just onto the front camera again to do a little bit of a walk thing and hopefully once again Mr GoPro over here is filming it so what I'm going to do is just go for a little walk here. Now like I said before the front camera doesn't have stabilization so I think you know moving around with it might be not so good. I mean, as to whether or not it's a good thing to walk around vlogging with an S7 is another, you know, another debatable point, I suppose. But nonetheless, I'm just going to give examples of what you should be able to expect when you do this. So again, GoPro up there should be filming exactly what's going on here. And as mad as it may look, I do think there's going to be some people out there that are going to want to try this or more so they'll probably want to try what I'm going to do in a second which is to lock off the S7 on the tripod and then do some stuff like that because in that instance it probably will end up looking really good. Okay so hopefully again GoPro picking us up here <laughs> just to show how mad the whole thing is. So what I'm going to do now is flip over onto the rear camera. So onto the rear camera then. Now, obviously it is not as wide as what the front one is. And I am on full length here with my arm as hopefully the GoPro will show us. So once again, I'll just walk about a little bit with this. Now, there is stabilization apparently with this particular camera. So hopefully if I kind of walk, you know, relatively slowly and don't go mad and stuff running, it might be okay to do it like this. So, you know, we'll get a good idea of it, what it is. I'm just being very mindful of how windy it is and rainy. There's bits of light rain every now and then. I'm kind of in between rain showers and stuff. What it is, this tree over here, I don't know if we can see it. I've been diving in and out of that tree cover there just so that I don't get soaked and ruin all the equipment. <laughs> anyway, so this should give us a really good idea as to what the stability is like when walking and stuff 
with the rear camera. Once again, Mr. GoPro over here can give us a really good look at what's going on. And don't worry, Mr. GoPro, you're still my favorite vlogging camera. Okay, so as we can see, it is now pissing now which is not such bad news for the S7 because that is undercover. However, me and Mr. GoPro here are getting soaked. But for the sake of a YouTube video, I'll pretty much do anything. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is just stand off a little bit here. So there's the set up there. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, so what I'm doing here then is testing the front camera locked off. So this isn't such a mad position, to be honest, because this is the kind of thing that a lot of people would probably want to do because, you know, it works on a tripod and that's cool. It really is raining and I'm going to go out into it now. So if you're wearing something like, you know, a wireless lavalier like this, you can do stuff like this, which is walk away from the camera. Now, of course, what's going to happen here is the exposure is going to go all kind of mad and stuff because obviously it's going to try and expose for the sky now and all the rest of it. And plus with it being, you know, under shade, under the tree and all that kind of thing, that's not really going to help it for exposure either. Do you know what? I'm soaking here and I've still got to do another couple of takes. Oh my God, the stuff I'll do, right? <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll get back to the camera and hopefully Mr. GoPro hasn't died. So once I get back up to the camera there, we'll see it starts exposing on me properly there. So, you know, this is all mega usable, I think, when it's locked off like this. And probably is something that a lot of people might be into as opposed to walking around looking like a big tool with it. Anyway, now for another take. Okay, so this is now the rear camera and the weather's got much worse. So I'm gonna go out there into the rain, do a little bit just to show that you can walk around while you're doing these things with the S7 locked off and just one little blast there on the GoPro and we can see what's going on there with the setup for the S7. Now we don't know what's going to be going on here as far as like exposure is concerned because unfortunately I just hear the rumbling of thunder in the distance. The clouds are really kicking in now, it's getting really dark so this is going to have to gain uploads anyway. I'm going to walk out into the rain because I'm a big mad fool. Okay so I'm over here now, again, I don't know, you know, whether or not it's going to start exposing properly. And that really is down to a massive lack of light. In fact, let me switch to the GoPro here. So basically, really, it is very dark. The GoPro might be exposing up there, you know, to see something. But honestly, we are getting into a bit of a thunder hurricane thing. We've actually had a warning of this in the UK at the moment, this morning. And just over there is the setup. Okay, so what I'm going to do is probably call this a day now and get back in and edit this thing up. Actually, I need to go and get a shower and stuff. Make sure, actually, that I didn't wreck. We watch the name here, me wireless go and stuff. If this is stood up to this, I'll be absolutely amazed because the USB port's all exposed. I hope I haven't busted. Anyways, yeah, it's getting really dark and all the rest of it. There's a ton of rain. I've got to get in, have a bath, edit, and then do the end summary, which is what you will see now. Okay, so that didn't quite go to plan. I really wasn't expecting all that rain. But nonetheless, I think it's going to give people a bit of an idea as to what you could possibly do with the S7 with regard vlogging outdoors. Now, what I'm going to do, once the weather gets better and it's nice and sunny, I'll go out and do some proper kind of like quality testing with it and stuff like that. Because that thing there is probably the worst case scenario. So it's probably worth doing it. And plus, you know, I have fun doing these things. And once I got outdoors, there was no way I was coming back in without some footage also the other things that i'm going to be doing with this s7 is more kind of microphone stuff showing people how to connect different types of microphones from like the easiest route up to like fairly complex routes and stuff like that so that's going to go from everything like small lavalier microphones to like a video micro up to using like big condenser microphones via usb audio interfaces and stuff like that and like i just said then as well do some quality testing indoors close-ups product shots type stuff all kinds of mad things to do with the cameras and also the like audio capabilities via the inputs and as i mentioned at the beginning of this video as well i'm going to be building up a playlist to do with all the stuff that i do with
with the S7. So check out the descriptions to all the videos. There will always be a playlist in there and that will build up over time. And quite possibly more importantly as well, I will have links to Amazon for some of the stuff that I use as well. Because as I'm doing these things, hopefully I'm gonna be showing people some bits and pieces that are interesting that they may wanna use on their S7s. Not necessarily all for vlogging and stuff like that, but certain things to do like USB stuff with it, like reading cards, connecting it to ethernets and stuff like that, or even to plug it into external mon monitors, whether that's for game capture or just because you want to watch your decks out on a big monitor. And spoiler alert, Dex is amazing on this on a big monitor. Okay, so I think that'll probably just about do it then. And don't forget, if you have liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell notification icon, all that funky stuff. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.